All right, today starting out in our child's pose. Come on down. If the forehead doesn't come down readily, the knees can come wide and sink down a little more into it. Find big breath. Big expensive inhales. And strong exhales that clean out your lungs. And do your best to breathe through your nose. Notice where you're feeling this posture. Okay, your hips are moving away from your ribs here so that you might feel some expansion in your low back. Hopefully that feels nice. The hip creases are getting a great massage here. Some nice uh, compression in there. So hopefully that feels nice too. And in a child's pose, you always have the option to take your hands back by your feet or put them out front and open up your shoulders more, your armpits too. Just find a little time to be still here. Check in with yourself. And see if we can grow the breath, both the inhale and the exhale by a second. Intentionally deepening breath. And then take a moment with me, please, and just visualize your diaphragm. It's the, the sheet, like a bowl-shaped muscle between your rib cage, your lungs, and your abdominal organs. And it separates your lungs from your abdominal organs so they don't get all tangled up in each other. And on the inhale, the diaphragm contracts and it pulls down toward your hips. In the process, it creates suction in your lungs, obviously creates a vacuum and it draws the air in. At the same time, it presses all of your abdominal organs down. And so your belly kind of puffs out because all the organs are getting smooshed and actually a very nice massage for them. To deepen your inhale, your accessory breathing muscles up top by your chest help to spread open your rib cage to even take in more of that much air. On the exhales, your diaphragm simply relaxes and naturally presses back up by your lungs. In the process, some of the air of your lungs is passively pushed out. And of course, your abdominal organs finally get more space <laughs> as your diaphragm moves up away from your hips and your organs return to their natural position. But then we try to take that deep exhale even further, just like we did with the inhale. We take it a little further by actively pressing the belly button into the spine so we compress those abdominal organs even more. We press the diaphragm up even more. The rib cage muscles, all those little intercostals between your ribs, they also contract, squeezing even more air out of your ribs. So I like to visualize and just kind of follow the movement of the diaphragm and, and really know what's going on so that we can get a really conscious deep breath. Uh, 
As you're ready, friends, start to walk your fingers a little further forward, and maybe you come up with your palms and your elbows up. So your arms are lifted here. Your fingertips are pressing down. And you can keep your head resting on the floor as you kind of peel open your armpits toward the floor. Maybe even sending the armpits out away from each other as if you were trying to make your chest even broader toward the floor. And remember, as always, to keep that long, open space around your neck and your ears, never smooshing the shoulder blades up by the ears if you can help it. Maybe your fingers even press your hips a little closer to the mat. And then as you're ready, grip the mat with your strong hand. So we're getting the palms back down and we're gonna stay low, pull your heart forward so that it rests in the air, just over your thumbs. So we're in a little chaturanga with the tail wagging in the air. And then we can think of exhaling, pressing back to our child's pose. We might take the knees wider just to make that a little more fluid or narrower just to make it more fluid for you. So adjust your knees. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, pull yourself forward into that little chaturanga, looking forward. The belly button is lifting, of course. Elbows are squished in. And exhale to your child's. Keep going like this. You, you can make it really gentle by not really trying to stay low. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like. If you come up in between, inhaling for your chaturanga, letting the heart sink over the thumbs, exhaling to your child's. So that would be more gentle, what I just demoed for you. Or you can really activate this and wake up your upper body, especially by staying really low. And it's kind of challenging. So try that out maybe if you'd like a challenge. So I try to present my practices to you guys so that you have a lot of options and you can always take it up or down. Okay. Maybe three more times like this. Stay low or or come up high, but find a nice movement in your spine. Either way, notice the low back is convex on the inhale, on the, on, in your child's pose where it's kind of neutralized. And it's a little bit concave on the, on the chaturanga part of it. Last one. Nice. Next time you press back to your child, go ahead and walk your hands all the way up by your legs. And we'll sit on our feet here as long as it's comfortable for you. Okay, you can always stick a block or a blanket underneath your glutes if that helps to kind of give you a little space. But we're going to activate our legs here. Arms up. Okay. I like to do fingers interlaced and kind of open up. The forearms here, allow your shoulder blades to sink down your back and make your longest spine. So we'll have a nice belly button pulling inward here. We're feeling a nice engagement in your core. Okay, and you're pointing your tailbone forward. So tuck it and point it as if you could point it at your knees. Okay, feeling long and tall on the spine. And we'll start to press the legs into the floor. So like you're trying to rise up off of the floor, with the strength of your legs. So you're feeling your quads turning on, you're feeling your legs get warm, keep breathing. <sighs> keep breathing here. Just notice where you feel effort and where you can invite ease. There's always a little bit of, of that balance we can bring into every posture, every action. One more big breath in here. And we're gonna exhale, let that go, okay? Notice the warmth in the legs. You might even be able to put your hands on your quads and feel that warmth we just cultivated. Come forward to hands and knees, guys, and we'll just take a little down dog here. Okay, walk it out. First down dog can be very dynamic. It can be very 
movable. Roll your shoulders and shake your head. And then as you're ready, back down to your knees. This time we're gonna tuck our toes, sit back on the heels, same idea. If you can stand to have your toes tucked, go ahead and do it because it's good for your feet. But if you can't stand it, don't worry about it. Don't force it, okay? Untuck or put a blanket, but same thing. Belly button is in, so we're feeling that core control, okay? You feel your lowest ribs kind of knit together when you do that. It's all part of that core control. Tailbone pointed at your knees. And arms up, <laughs> fingers interlaced. Breathe here. Okay, start to push the floor away with your strong legs. Find that long neck, maybe close your eyes. Where is the effort? Where can you invite ease? What about your face? <laughs> For me, that's one of the first places to get tense when I'm exerting effort. All right, one more big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Down dog. Okay, again, walk it out. Shake it out. Hmm. Let's start to move a little bit, move around. So inhaling here, move your heart forward. Find your plank. Now, with or without your knees on the ground, exhale and just come halfway down. Put your elbows on your ribs. Inhale here, press it up to a plank. And exhale, walk to your hands and fold. You can bend your knees deeply. Inhale, roll it up. Reach up high. Let's do a little side bend. So with your exhale, just reach out to one side. Make sure to wrap your belly button in, keeping that core control. Inhale, back up. Other side, big exhale. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, big fold, coming all the way down. Palms are down here. Let's walk the feet back to a plank. And exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Inhale here, pull your heart forward. Find a very lovely cobra heart that kind of shines forward between your shoulders. And exhale, come up through hands and knees if you like. I'll meet you in a down dog. Let's take a few more vinyasas, guys, just warming things up. Anybody? <laughs> you can always skip uh, vinyasas that I suggest or put in. You can always just take a child's pose or a down dog or some kind of rest if you need that more. Here we go. Inhale, heart moves forward. Exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs. Remember, knees are an option. Inhale, back up to your plank. Exhale, walk to your hands, fold. Inhale, coming up. This time, interlace your fingers. Another little side stretch here. Exhale, one side, belly button in. Inhale, bring it up. Other side, big exhale. Inhale and bring it up. Exhale here, fold it. Palms are down, inhale for your plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale for your cobra. Exhale, down dog. Okay, hopefully feeling the joints starting to warm up, get a little looser. Let's do one more, inhale here, plank. Exhale, hands fold. Inhale, roll it up. This time grab your elbows. <laughs> Big exhale out to one side. Belly button in. Inhale two, standing. Other side. Big exhale. And inhale to standing. Let that go. Exhale and fold. Palms are down. Inhale for plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, down dog. OK, 
Okay, walk it out here. Remember that down dog can always be a bent knee down dog or just replace it with the hands and knees if you need a little break. But let's get the right leg up. We'll bend the knee a lot and we'll circle out the hip. Okay, nice circle. Just trying to keep the hips level at first. Um, notice the right hip might wanna lift, but we'll just keep the hips level for now. And let's rewind that. Okay, now lift the hip, make the circles really big. Notice the difference. And rewind it. Maybe getting some crackles and pops. All right, pause here. Inhale, get the right leg out behind. Point the toe at the sky. And with your exhale, send that right knee forward. We'll hover shoulders over wrists. Pull that knee in towards your nose and hold and breathe. You can always drop the left knee if you have a little bit too much challenge here. But could you keep your uh, right knee exactly where it is and take the round out of your upper spine by gazing forward? Whew, challenging, but you can do it for one more big breath in. Stay here for one more big breath out. Inhale, send the leg back. Ah, exhale, drop the foot between your hands. Dropping that back knee. Inhale, come on up. Arms up, low lunge. Strong legs trying to squeeze together. As you exhale, cactus arms and move your hips forward with that strong right leg. Inhale, let go. Kind of back your hips out a little bit. Exhale, pull yourself back in. Cactus arms. One more, big breath in. Exhale, pull it in, hold and breathe. So remember the two legs are trying to pull together. Think of the shoulder blades, lifting your rib cage up to the ceiling here. Belly button is in, nice breath. Warming the legs, maybe one more big breath here. And let it go. Exhale here, hands down, down dog. Shake it out. <laughs> Inhale here, find a plank. Let's take a little vinyasa. Exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs. Inhale, back up to your plank. Exhale, to your hands and fold. Inhale here, roll it up. Lift your heart. Okay, exhale here, drop into a chair, a little chair. Inhale here, standing. And exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale, look forward with your long spine. And exhale, very big fold. Palms are down. Inhale for plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale here, little cobra. Maybe take your hands out to the side and lift the heart forward a little more. And exhale here, down dog. Okay, walk it out. Notice how you're feeling. And begin to maybe feeling a little bit warm in your down dog. Let's get the left leg up and out behind and bend the knee and keeping the hips level. Let's circle that left hip out a little bit. Let's rewind it. All right, now open up the hip as you circle it out. Allow the left hip to stack over the right. And reverse that. All righty, pause here. We'll inhale and stick the left toe up toward the sky. 
exhale here, send that knee forward, pause, shoulders over wrists. The knee is close to your heart, hold. You may drop the right knee for less challenge. For more challenge, how about moving your heart forward, looking forward with your long neck, taking that round out of your upper back. One more breath in. Stay here as you exhale. And how send it back. Exhale here, drop that foot between your hands. Back knee comes down, right knee down. Low lunge, inhaling, come on up. Engage the knees toward each other. Are you ready? Exhale, cactus arms, hips pull forward. Think of the legs doing everything here. Inhale, back out a little bit. Coming back in on the exhale. Strong legs here, please. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back in. Hold and breathe. Okay, this is where we hold and breathe. S strong legs trying to snap together. Okay, everything pulling in toward that midline. Shoulder blades lift the, sh the heart up a little more. Belly button in. One more big breath here. Hmm, let it go. All hands down, down, down. Inhale here, plank. Exhale to your hands. Oh, sorry. No, exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs. <laughs> Inhale, back up to plank. Now exhale to your hands. Almost forgot that. Inhale, roll it up. Lift that heart. Exhale, drop it into your chair. Maybe drop a little lower. Inhale to standing. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Inhale for plank. Exhale all the way down. Maybe fingers wide as you roll your heart up into a nice cobra. And exhale, down dog. All right, friends. <laughs> Get the right leg up and out behind here. Bend that knee and point the toes to the left. Point the toes to the left and pause here. Could you think about pressing extra into your right hand so that the right shoulder doesn't try to go up and back with the hip, okay? So the shoulders are level. The right hand is pressing a little extra hard. And maybe you look under your left armpit and wave at yourself with your right toes. <laughs> Big breath here. Thinking of lifting that right knee up and back as you drop into that right hand. Nice work. One more big breath in here. And exhale, send that right foot forward. Drop it between your hands. Inhaling here, crescent lunge. Okay, exhaling here, drop the back knee to the floor. Inhale, pick it up. See if you can keep the hips nice and low while you do this. Again, exhale, back knee comes down. Keep your hips here. Inhale, pick the back knee up. Whew. One more time. Exhale, back knee down. Keep the hips where they are. Inhale, back knee up. Hold and breathe. Maybe join your hands behind you. Open up the fronts of your shoulders. Again, shoulder blades lift the heart up. Legs are strong, trying to squeeze together. Belly button in. Nice breath. Nice work, friends. One more big breath in here. And let it go, all hands down, down dog. Notice how the legs feel, and let it go. Inhaling here, plank, and exhale. Maybe hop, maybe step to your hands, it's up to you. Hop or step, and fold. Inhaling here, roll it up. Lift high with your heart. Exhale, drop low into your chair. Now check it out. Stay in your chair. On your inhale, come up on your tippy toes. Reach your hands back, a little balancey. Nice. Exhale here, back to your chair. Let's do that again. Inhale, tippy toes up, reach back. 
<laughs> Exhale, back to your chair. One more time, big breath in, tippy toes, reach back. Exhale, back to your chair. Inhale, standing. Exhale, folding. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale for plank. You might hop or step. Yogi's choice. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Hey, maybe fingers are a little wider now. And exhale, down dog. All right, man, we're really finding some stability, some intention in this down dog. Walking out the heels, thinking of hands pressing forward as the heat pull, feet pull back. And always that squeeze between the right and left side of the body, that pulling in toward the midline. And let's go here. Let's get the left leg up and out behind. Point the toes to the right and hold. Okay, now when we do this scorpion posture, we need to be sure that the left shoulder isn't coming along with its own hip, which it tends to want to do. So we can kind of prevent that by pressing the left hand into the floor extra strong, pulling the right hip back and looking under your right armpit to wave at yourself with your toes. Pull the hip back, press into the floor, breathe. Maybe lift the knee a little higher. <sighs> One more big breath in here. And exhale, swing that leg forward, plant the foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, inhaling, come on up. Exhaling, drop the back knee, tap the floor. Could you keep the hips low? Inhale, straighten the back leg. Exhale, tap the back leg down. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, tap. And we'll hold, straighten out the leg and hold. Squeeze between the two knees, lift of the heart. Maybe join your hands behind. Shoulder blades, lift heart up, belly button in. Nice breath, push through the back heel. One more big breath in here. And we're letting it go. All hands down, down dog. Inhale here, plank. Exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs. Inhale, back up to your plank. Exhale, hop or step to your hands. Fold. Roll it up, inhale. Exhale, drop into your chair, squat, maybe a little lower than before. Same like we did before. Inhale to your tippy toes, hands reach back, balance. Exhale to your chair. Two more times. Inhale, tippy toes, hands back. Exhale, chair. One more, tippy toes. And chair. <laughs> nice. Inhale to standing, lift your heart. Exhale, folding. Halfway, inhale. Big exhale. Palms down, plank. You might hop or step. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, big chest cobra. Then exhale, down dog. Can we take some time? Okay, we're quite warm now. Just kind of waking up, opening up this down dog. Five or six breaths is what we think. Spending some time going through your checklist. So hands grip the mat, elbows in, shoulders slide down the back. The neck feels long and soft. Heels are out of sight and they're moving down and the kneecaps are moving up. <sighs> All right, friends, let's continue to explore. Inhale here, right leg up and out behind you. Okay, exhale here, send that right knee towards your left elbow, right knee to the left elbow, pause here and breathe. 
Could you slide the knee down to the left wrist? Pause and breathe. And slide it back up to your elbow. Pause and breathe. With your next inhale, send the leg up and out behind. With your next exhale, drop the foot between your hands. Boom. We're dropping the back heel. So the left heel is now coming down. Inhale and come on up. Warrior one, okay? In warrior one, do your best to line your hips up with the front of your mat. Your right hip wants to feel like it's pulling back and your left hip wants to feel like it's pulling forward, okay? And we have a nice press back into the left outer edge of that left foot. You might just feel like you're kind of lifting your left arch even. And those right toes, the right knee points at the right toes. All right, belly button in, arms up. Big breath here. Now really press into the outer edge of that, red, that uh, right, what is that? A left foot. Are you ready? Bend nicely into that right knee and reach forward away from your left foot. Hold right here and breathe. Reline your hips up with the front of the mat and get that squeeze between the two legs, that right and left squeezing together. Lean a little bit more, reach and hold and breathe. If you need to support yourself on the right leg, awesome, go for it, okay? If you like the challenge, arms up. Keep reaching and breathe. Very nice, friends. Reach a little further. <laughs> little further. And as you're ready, take that right elbow to your right knee, okay? We're gonna reach the left arm up. Go ahead and look out to the left side. Oh, open yourself out to the left and we'll hold here and breathe while I spin around to face you. So here we are in an extended side ankle. If you ever need a break, you can always just come on up. Okay, take a break. If you're feeling pretty good here, let's think about maybe, only if it seems appropriate, bringing your right fingertips to the floor inside your right foot. You might have a block that you wanna put under your right hand, that would be very nice. Okay, fingertips might work well. The hand might work well for some of us. We're all different. Okay, but breathe, allow the hips to sink and just breathe. Remember that feeling of trying to squeeze the legs together. Allow the hip to soften naturally downward. And now here's where we're gonna go with this. If everything's going great, I have another option for you. You can sink the right armpit really low and reach that right hand behind your back. The left hand might come back looking for its friend. And you can squeeze that leg and start to look at the ceiling. Nice breaths, a lot of sensation in that right hip. As long as it's not pain, just let the feelings happen. <laughs> One more big breath in. One last big breath out. Let it go, all hands down, back to down dog. Whew. Notice that hip, that right hip. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale, maybe hop or step and fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, drop into your chair. Don't worry, we won't do any tippy toes this time. Nice and low though. Inhale to standing. And exhale, folding. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale for plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, maybe cobra or maybe we want a little up dog. Okay, if you put your hands down, press into the floor and lift your strong legs up off the floor. You can think of moving your heart forward just like we did in a cobra. Either way, cobra or up dog, we're exhaling back to down dog. Walk it out. Let's take another five or six breaths here in your down dog, please. 
Notice your heart rate, your breath rate, any heat in your body and any sensations your practice has stirred up. Down dog is a nice little check-in, kind of just enjoying the glow of the practice. And as you're ready, we'll start to move. Okay, keep your down dog nice and solid. As you inhale and lift the left leg up and out behind. Exhale here, left knee moves across to the right elbow. Pause here, hold and breathe. Can we slide the knee down to the wrist? Breathe. Slide it up to the elbow, breathe. And then finally inhale here, send the leg up and out behind. Exhale here, drop that foot between your hands. Okay, dropping that back heel, that right heel is now down. Inhale and come on up, warrior one. Okay, warriors. As you rotate your hips toward the front of the mat, think of pulling the left hip back, sending the right hip forward now. But remember, press nicely into that right outer edge. Just really blasting that right outer foot into the floor. Maybe lifting that right arch here. Okay, we're gonna need our strong legs. It's a great foundation. Wrap the belly button in. The core is in control, it's involved. The legs are trying to snap together. Reach forward and hold and breathe. You're always welcome to support yourself with your hands on the left leg. It's a nice helper. Keep breathing. Reach a little further. Hold and breathe. When in doubt, strengthen your legs and breathe. Reach a little further. Hold and breathe. Reach a little further, hold and breathe. Let that heat build, it's good stuff. As you're ready friends, left elbow to left knee, reaching that right arm up, we can think of just looking out to the right here and hold while I spin around to face you. So already feeling a lot of heat in the legs and we're just gonna keep building on that in this posture. Extended side angle. You might reach the right hand over your head or up. It's really a matter of taste, okay? Do drop nice and low into your hips and keep that squeeze between your legs, please. I want the pelvic floor and the core active. They're not asleep. Maybe stay here with your elbow. Come on up if you want a break. You're feeling good. I'm gonna ask you to sink down into this. Find a block or the floor inside that left foot. Okay, maybe nice to just stay here, focusing on a big chest. But if you really wanna open up that left hip, sink that left shoulder down low. Left hand comes behind to your back. Right hand might too. If you got that leg, squeeze it in. Look up. If you don't have the leg, awesome, breathe. <sighs> Keep breathing, friends. Okay, I'll allow all that sensation in the left hip to just kind of swirl around. One more big breath in here. And let it all go, all hands down, back to down dog. Notice how you're feeling. And inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale, hop or step to your hands and fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, drop into your chair, drop nice and low. Inhale to stand and exhale to fold. Let's pause here. We pause in this nice little fold. Let's take our feet wide, please. If you have a mat, awesome. Take them as wide as your mat, maybe. If you don't have a mat, don't worry. You don't need a mat to do yoga. <laughs> don't really need a mat to do yoga at all. 
Okay, so bend those knees, please, so that your hands can come down on something. And if your hands still don't come down, maybe a block would be nice, okay? A bed, a chair, something to put your hands on so that your upper body is not just dangling dangerously for your spine in the air. Okay, nice bend in the knees. And think of really bending the right knee, pressing into the right hand and reaching up with the left hand. Nice little twist for your spine. And we'll bring that down. The left knee bends. The right knee extends a little more. Inhale, reach up with the right hand. Exhale down. Inhale, switch sides. You see what we're doing. Now let's take a few more rounds like this, please. Exhale to switch sides. Inhale to reach up. Okay, the knee of the down hand is bending. The knee of the up hand is extending, and it may just be a partial extension. Mm. All right, next time you're reaching up, hold and breathe. Make sure your spine has space to be long, so your hand's not really close to your feet, but it's out a little bit. Breathe. Think of lengthening your neck, softly bending the bottom elbow and plugging both shoulders in here. So the shoulders are not sleeping. They're awake and active. Mm, twisting from the belly button all the way up. Could you move your tailbone a little further away from the top of your head? And as you're ready, top hand down, down hand up, breathe. Shoulders are active, elbows have a slight bend, tailbone moves back. Mm. One more big breath here, friends. And bring it down. Turn your toes out away from each other and then slowly start to sink your hips. So. We're all super different here. Some of you are gonna to wanna to stay with your hips more high and your hands on the floor for your squat. Some of us are fine to drop down low. Okay, so just find something comfortable. We do want the heels down. So make adjustments, please. I'll turn to show you where we're going. So here we are in a little squat. If you can put your palms together, go ahead and put them together and then elbows between knees. And make that spine a little extra long here. Okay, if your elbows are between your knees and they're pressing your knees apart, awesome. You're getting that nice inner thigh opening. But if you like, you want a little more, use your outer hip to move your knees away from your elbows. Close your eyes here. Notice how you're feeling. Mm. One more big breath in and we're letting it go. Okay, if you want, you can just sit back on your hips and we are already sitting. So let's shake the legs out, shake them out. And we'll take the feet a little wider than our hips are. So a little, full, Soft bend in the backs of the knees too. If you notice that your knees tend to lock here, just put a little unlock. So soft bend and you can bend more if it's hard to sit up straight. So if you're like, if you're like this, bend your knees more until you can sit up straight. Notice how much that helps. Okay, fingertips are in front of you. You might start them by your hips sort of. And we're long spine, of course, long spine inhales. Ex Inhale to move the heart forward. Pause where you feel resistance from the back of your body, the backs of your legs. You might feel resistance there, who knows? But pause at that resistance to inhale and lengthen your spine. And exhale, send it forward a little more. Now we're gonna take a few more breaths here. So you have all the time in the world. Uh, please resist the temptation to grab and pull. That's not what we're looking for today. 
We want to use more of your intrinsic strength, your intrinsic fold. Okay, we're just gathering information. What is the intrinsic fold here? Heart moves forward with each exhale. Your spine will round, but keep it as long as you can. And if you want to drop your head, just keep a long neck, please. Maybe one more nice long breath here. And as you're ready, walk yourself back up out of this. And just to even out that little fold with one more nice little back bend, put a little bend in your knees so your feet are on the ground. And if you take your hands behind you and point your fingers at your glutes, palms under shoulders, you can come down to your elbows from here. Make sure your elbows are under your shoulders. And then let's use our, our bones, our bone structure intelligently here. So using your big shoulder blades, think of moving the two plates of the shoulder blades together and lifting your rib cage. So you can really visualize that shoulder blades, lift the rib cage up. I like to refer to them as salad scoops in this, in this instance. We're serving this up on a plate, okay? But keep a tuck in your chin, please. Notice if it tends to kind of blast open. That's not really what we're looking for. So keep the back of the neck long, like you're trying to shoot the, the top of your head back and down, not just down. If it feels good to drop your head, go for it, but please preserve that tuck in your chin and please continue to lift the heart. Let's breathe here. I want you to feel so spacious in the front of your shoulders. Maybe one more long, slow breath here. And as you're ready to come out, pull your chin back up and in. We'll move the elbows out to the side. Come all the way down. Okay, let's seal this practice off with a nice little twist. So if you just pick up your right leg and cross it over your left, and then move your hips a little bit to the right. Move to the right. Then you can drop your legs to the left. With your arms wide, look out to the right. And we'll just breathe here. Nice little twist. Maybe the left hand grabs a, a, a knee. <laughs> Long spine inhale. Strong belly exhale. One more breath here, please. And then let's rock the legs back in. Uncross, left leg crosses over right. We have to move our hips to the left a little bit here to drop the knees to the right. Ah, and look to the left. Maybe the right hand grabs a knee. Long spine inhales. Mm. Let go, exhales. Feel your body cooling down and coming down from the practice. Your organs are getting a lovely massage here as is your whole entire back and torso and core. Recalibrating your spine. Mm. 
One more breath. And let's bring this back in through center. Untangle your legs and find your resting posture. Maybe Shavasana, maybe something else. Once you have found where you'd like to rest, close your eyes. Breathe through your nose, please. Maybe take a moment to just stretch out your jaw and let your face relax. And although your eyes are closed, allow your eyeballs behind your eyelids to focus way out as if you were looking out to the edge of the universe. And allow yourself to watch with intense focus all the sensations that arise on your mat, every sound, every sensation in your body, every thought, notice everything. Please continue resting for as long as you can. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel great. <laughs>